Fanta Choice 16 was only available to limited devices like the flagship of Vivo and IQ with those who have already registered for the beta program. So it's very hard to get a beta program device on hand but still I managed to get some information about the upcoming changes. So here are the most probable changes that you going to see definitely. Starting with the new control panel, yes the control center is going to be changed just like iPhone or Samsung it's now split it into two different parts that was missing in the previous Fanta choice and if you want you can still change it to the previous way if your liking is that. Next up is like Apple and Samsung again you now able to stack widget one over another but we will let it one step ahead and let you add widget over a app folder. This new feature I think is very useful where you can use it as a edge panel where you can access music or payment apps very easily. Now the limit of apps are still limited so they are will not all access from defined apps but still it's a lot. Now next up is customization in lock screen and most thing I love is about the animations in the fingerprint scanner. Yes I like to play with the animation a lot and this is a great option for me you still get different animations for the aod and different other things like animation in the home screen swipe up swipe down animation in soundbar unlocking etc these are the most definite changes that are going to come but still there will be a lot more changes which are still unknown to us i hope it helps you to get know a basic knowledge about the beta make sure to like and subscribe to get the upcoming updates